Good morning, Aries. This is your weekly message for your almost personal zodiac sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Crosswatchers are welcome. Just know that whether you're the Aries or the Crosswatcher, that energies are fluid. You can switch them if one, if the other side resonates more with your situation. Genders are irrelevant. All right, the state, divine masculine, divine feminine, it's an energy within each of us. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, give us true and precise messages, the overall energy for the sign of Aries for the following week. Okay. Nice. Not only do you have the singer of connection, but you have the swan card. How beautiful. You have a six. Number six card and a uh, um, one and eleven. So it's one, one, one. Or you could break that to a three. But because it's the ones that are leave it. Similar of connections. You're, you've connected with your higher self. So you're coming into union with self. This is the energies from your higher self merging with the with you um, after your death and rebirth. You're being enlightened uh, with your chakras. Uh, uh, Beautiful, connecting to spirit as well, and the swans is you mirroring with your divine counterpart. As you do the work and healing with yourself, you are also healing them and leading them on how to heal themselves. Because when they see that you are loving yourself and healing you, or when you pull back your energy and leave. A connection because of its low vibration or toxicity it teaches them how to also heal themselves love themselves and pull away from the toxicity in their life the first awoke divine feminine energy is usually not always um, is the known as the leader and then they teach the masculine so very nice Moving forward, knowing that your beauty is from within and you're shining brightly. Spirit goes true precise messages for the recent past of the Aries, please. And it gives true precise messages of their recent past or their counterpart, their love interest. Thank you. And give us near future for the Aries near future give me three for their career what's their job situation their pentacles not looking for love with these cards, we're looking for the pentacles. Okay. And their overall energy for this week, please. For Aries. In the recent past, you received many tower moments, I'm sure, but you received recently a tower moment um, crumbling your foundations, 
you felt like it threw you to rock bottom. I'm hearing that you made it through the storm though. Um, and while it was stormy waters at the time, you're learning to balance your energy. Um, and you see the promise of the rainbow. Um, when you come out of the situation, you've dealt with it. Um, you've learned lessons from this. You've had to go within and heal from this as well. And not put the pieces back together. So it's saying don't put the pieces back together as they were because you're no longer that person. You're a new person. You're having your the death and rebirth of your soul means that you're you don't need to put that back together because you're not using this tower anymore. You're moving forward to a new palace to calm calm waters with rainbows. With loving yourself is a page of cups. And these are in the recent past. With your counterpart, your counterpart uh, recently um, in the past had their transformation and a death of a situation, possibly the soul, yes, the death of their soul, rebirth. The Three of Pentacles, they were putting the work in, they were uh, chained to. Uh, they felt chained to something. They were chained to their work. Perhaps they were a workaholic or something was keeping them chained regarding a three-party situation. This could be work. This could be um, family, other pe things other than three-party people. But um, something was tying them down. There was a death to that situation for some as well. It's not for everyone. That situation was for some and the other situation was the death and rebirth of their soul along with um, for some they were putting the work in regarding an ace of wands they in the past knew they were mirroring you they knew that this was a soul connection or a very strong spiritual connection um, and a new beginning for them of course with death you do have new beginnings and it does take work to move forward wanted me to add that okay so in the near future you have positive communication coming to you beaming with very good communication it's coming because justice came in and balanced things out regarding the king of cups king of cups sitting there nonchalant relaxed filling his cup of love for himself he is feeling happy he is he feels like he's got wish fulfillment in that cup He's found inner peace. He's had his transformation. Um, and justice is balancing these things in his life or her life. The, uh, the communication is coming in positive. For some reason, I'm, I'm being urged to tell you to not be a sheeple. A sheep in the picture. Don't be a sheeple, whatever, if that means something for you. You just need to follow um, your spiritual guidance, your intuition. And don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about those that um, have something to say about where you're going because they might not be going with you. They might not be journeying with you, and that's okay if they are naysayers. Ignore them for whoever that part was for. Okay, this is... <laughs> Let's see what your career looks like, Aries. Emperor, who you're stepping in your power. You've got your sword. Well, you've got your sword of truth, but it's only possibly a partial truth here. But you need to tip it upright and speak your truth. Stand in your truth. Sit in your truth. Move this devil energy off your throne and take power. Take your take your throne. You are, for some of you, you're receiving accolades or um, recognition for something at work. Others of you have some sexual, sensual thing going at work, whether it's a love interest or it's regarding communication, though. Okay, whatever that's 
dinosaur. The I see here the um, in your career money. We want to look at their pentacle spirit. There are storm clouds above the mountains, perhaps clouding your judgment. And here I see he's looking this way back. He's not. You're not going backwards. There's no need, Emperor, to look behind you. You need to turn around and look forward because you're going forward. Your sword is pointed that way. You need to be headed that way. And so in the career, perhaps you're looking over, past, over your past career to see if there was mistakes made or what you've done. How even for some years as an Emperor, you're looking back over what it took to get to this position even. And where you go from here, and what does this mean for you? Perhaps for so some of you, you recently received a job promotion where that's why you're looking back on how you got here. Okay, King of Swords in his truth. This uh, person's in their truth regarding career, listening to their spirit guides as well. In listening to their higher self, they are taking their throne with positive enlightenment, the growth. Um, again, this person, uh, bird is looking uh, actually towards the sort of truth, perhaps, because um, they are listening to their spirit guides and their higher self, and they are standing in their truth. So perhaps they're looking at that sort of truth and knowing where they go from here and deciding this is my sort of truth I stand on my truth now I'm moving forward and I'm not going to cry over the spilt milk cry over those losses that we've had in the past regardless if they were work funds money promotions whether these are people that you work with or love interests you've got plenty here behind you um, yes it has been a bit of an emotional roller coaster here in your career um, sector, perhaps in 2019, but you're moving forward to 2000. We're in 2020, and it's time to move forward. Sir, corrected me. Um, for to see the growth, to see where you're going from here. Um, don't look back. You're all looking. All three of these areas of birds are headed this direction. No, we're not headed back. We're headed forward, and you need to look. Forward. So, for whoever of the areas this uh, resonates with the most, I'd say um, perhaps you're going to see a job change here in the future. You are taking throne as a king of cups, loving and filling yourself with cup and nourishment. And look at the uh, king's face. He's very much content in that throne. He's In truth, in, in emperor, emperors like the empress, all four kings in one. And when you get to this level, sure, you're going to, you're of course going to have losses because you can't. That's how you learn. That's how we grow is through uh, lessons of loss, right? All right. So in our general energy. A knight of swords. So, see, in your career, you're a king, but in your home life, perhaps you're you feel like a knight. Uh, in and out, uh, partial truth. But here, in your career, you are a king, and you are in your power, and you are in your truth. So, in your personal life, perhaps that's uh, where you're feeling the loss because you don't feel like you are the king, but yet you are a king. You're an emperor. You need to step up, and you're from your uh, have that same uh, vibe in your personal life as you do in your career. Perhaps it is because of toxicity or devil energy in your home life or personal life. Perhaps you are a little out of uh, balance. I see here the divine what's hourglass here with divine timing and this little devil here too um, sitting on it like blocking it. He's playing puppeteer with things like love, the world, money, pentacles. This devil's playing you like a puppeteer between your home and your work. 
You need to rid yourself of this devil energy. Cut the toxicity out of this for some I'm seeing spell work being done, and that's what this card would represent is spell work holding you as a pup puppet. That's not for anybody, that's just for a few mind games is being played, yes. I do see mind games being played on you. You feel like someone else is controlling your mind. You know, uh, also, I'm feeling like you have a bit of a monkey mind over analyzing things, everything that's going wrong. Why, why can't I feel like the king at home when at work I have no problem being in my power? But yet at home, perhaps you feel like someone is stabbing you in the back. Who is a fighter sign? Huh. Yeah, the Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights. I can't see what this is. This is like um, being haunted in your sleep. You feel like you're being haunted in your dreams. Um, these three things here, and I'll show it up to the camera in a minute, but um, they're whispering in your ear while you sleep negative things. They're holding you uh, down in a low vibration so that, yes, that's the devil energy as well. That spell work being done. Mind control. The keeping you at only a night, the in and out status. You should be like the hawk and the eagle, but yet Perhaps you're more like a pigeon, or you feel, they're making you feel, sorry, they make you feel like a pigeon, and here this beak is like taped closed or something. So yeah, spiritual warfare I just got as well. For some of you, it is a spiritual warfare over um, the situation trying to block you from your success, but know that spirit will protect you um, when you surrender the devil energy and ask for protection and ask for guidance so that you can move forward in your soul purpose and your mission so that spirit can and spirit will protect you from these nightmares, these spirits that are taunting you. I'm hearing taunting you in your sleep. So I'm going to hold this up so you can see the weird image. Um, it's, I can't tell if it's like little hands, like almost like a little alien hands, or like little alien worms, but it looks like they're whispering in her ear while the swords are hanging over her waiting, and she's wondering, are they going to fall? We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, but the Ace of Swords in reverse, to me, I'm reading it as you're in, in this general energy this week, you're going to be in your truth. You will speak your truth, and you will come out, and you will leave behind this pigeon energy, and you will fly through the storm clouds like an eagle. And you have the hawks here, balancing of divine feminine, the hawk is divine masculine energy, sorry. And the eagle is the divine feminine energy. But there's two of each. So it's balancing those energies within you, in your truth, because it's upright. We already read those. So let's get clarification, shall we? It goes through precise messages for the career clarification for Aries. And the present energy.
Hang on, I got pop-ups on my computer screen for some reason. I want to be able to see the Look at the career clarification for the Emperor. Yes, we have the new beginning, the Ace of Cups. So your new promotion or new job that you're in, you're receiving the accolades because you have the Ace of Cups, that new beginning, the new career perhaps, or a new business that you're starting yourself and online. Um, for some, I am hearing the online business that you're opening yourself. You'll have many blessings. There's even a dove in this. Um, blessing from spirit. And in your King of Swords, um, in your truth regarding the lover's card um, here, with listening to your higher self, your spiritual direction, guidance regarding um, lovers as well as uh, workplace here. And The moon is the feminine energy, and its spirit is overseeing this. That's divinely guided. While things may be cooling off in the lover section of, or at the moment regarding your love life, because you're focusing on your career, your uh, abundance right now. But spirit is this is divinely guided. This is spirit is over watching, is overlooking to ensure the success in this divine union. Uh, and that, yes, you did lose things. And there was a death. Again, soul death and rebirth has taken place. But your inner child, your innocence has been protected. And only the death of the toxic self is dying off. And the again, your innocence of the inner child is protected. Okay, so with the Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles here in celebration of the dance, number three card. Queen of Pentacles. Working hard. Queen of Pentacles, you're putting the work in, in the workplace planted new seeds and we are blo and they are blossoming they're going to give you a lot of growth a lot a lot of abundance and you feel like behind you in the past was storm clouds but you've come you've risen from that and it's time to celebrate sorry I sat back ace of wands you have two aces in a row oh well no there's an ace up here and here Okay, over the devil energy. Um, yes, it was. It's time. Spirit saying it's time to cut things out. Matriarchal blades, cut things out that no longer serve you, because your Ace of Wands communication to a new beginning, a new start in communication and guidance here. It's a light as well. Was holding, being stuck between a hard place and a rock. And not allowing this devil energy wasn't allowing for forward movement for success because it was blocked by the devil energy. Um, Spirit says, have strength and ask for surrender and ask for guidance, protection regarding the um, tauntings in your sleep or in your dreams. Have strength and ask for spirit guidance. And um, number six card, the sun is out here with balance um, to help you move forward in this journey. They, Spirit wants you for, to, to give you this contentment um, and this Ace of Swords in your truth um, regarding these situations. Yes, some, you had to or someone had to set their boundaries. Seven of Wands, set up your boundaries and stand your ground so that you can have calm waters. Uh, and not feel like you're captive to that devil energy, to the uh, sleepless nights. Regarding the communication of Eight of Wands, you have putting the work in. So this is about work, about your pentacles, the communication coming in to say, don't be a sheeple. 
communicate. Cre be creative. I'm here to start your own business. If you start your own business, it will be prosperous. And, and that's why the Spirit was saying, don't be a sheeple. Because the communication is coming in, guiding you to start your own business. Perhaps it's your sole purpose, your mission, but it's time to do that journey, your mission, your sole purpose, going on journey, go on vision quest. To, if you don't know what your sole purpose is, for saying go and meditate is a on vision quest so that you can journey spiritually um, and see where you're supposed to be at on your journey. Um, with the justice was here because of a three-party situation that is no longer an issue moving into the future. Um, again, these three here are the near future. Um, warrior of pipes. This is, yes, peacefully taking control of your life. Peacefully taking control of forward movement out of this three-party situation. The King of Cups is happy and is content because, why? Because he's put himself in a hangman position to um, see things from a higher perspective, bringing himself out of the stormy waters, creating with sand painter here, number eight, creating his own future, similar to the magician. Spirit has advice for you moving forward. Spirit wants you to know, yes, you may have fallen off the horse, and it's time to get back on and move forward. It's time to not be trapped or stuck in your old ways, but know that you and Spirit, He's with you. Spirit is at your side at all times, moving forward in this journey. Ask for guidance. Be the, take the fool, the leap of faith forward with the zero regarding that devil energy, regarding the nine of swords. Take the leap of faith forward, surrender to Spirit. Ask for guidance. Um, give it away. Number six with the giveaway dance. Give it away so you can celebrate. And know that you are protected by Chief of Shields, by Spirit. And you will with this uh, Sand Painter card over King of Cups. Wish Fulfillment, the Wish card, number nine. And the Death card with that three-party situation of the Warrior Pipes. Yeah, the three-party situation is dead and gone. Along with like the transformation, the death of the soul and the rebirth. And you're birthing a new beginning in your stability, in your home front, in your roots. You're growing a new family um, that was a pregnancy card. <laughs> Perhaps you want, someone could be pregnant. But it's time to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you in order to move forward. And that would probably be returning to the devil energy, the person that's haunting or taunting you. Spirit says, use your smoke signals, but speak to spirit. Do not mourn the past. You're no longer looking back there. It's time to move forward. I'm getting stuffed up again. The Chief of Blades is like the King of Swords in his bringing truth to the matter, bringing truth to light, to light, bringing the truth to light. And cutting things out that no longer serve them that stand in the way of success. Yes, number 10. So that you can heal medicine wheel. The wheel of fortune wants to turn forward. Okay. Advice from spirit. He's saying get summons. card, Wild Woman. It's kind of being free spirit. Uh, for many of you, it's going to be uh, regarding the eclipse energy I see here. Um, uprooting those old belief systems, not getting tangled up, allowing, do not allow, yeah, break your, I'm sorry, break yourself free of the old rooted systems and your roots. In other words, if you have family members that are holding you back, it's time to cut them out as well. Cut away those old roots of old belief systems that are no longer serving you in this journey. You need to embrace yourself, love yourself, and move forward. 
and be free to move forward from them for your highest good and look to spirit so that you can celebrate a new beginning Oops. number 10 is the serpent this is all about the kundalini awakening some of you perhaps are, have already gone through your kundalini awakening and for some of you you're still uh, you know uh, we're either working on that or yet to go through it This is also sensual energy within each of us, which, um, and again, I'm seeing the information here coming through. An importance, a lot of this will happen. For some of you, you will go through your Kundalini awakening, Spirit says, during the uh, full moon, January 10th, and with the eclipse. Yes, thank you. Because the magnetic uh, forces are going to be so strong, it's going to stir more awakening more growth when you go through your kundalini awakening it takes some people take months some will take years it it goes in stages but once it's activated once you once it's stirred once it's awakened uh within you within your sacral um, chakra then it begins to work its way up through and out the crown chakra eventually. Six is the drum card. Be dancing to the beat of your own drum um, immediately. And again, I'm having the eclipse come here and here. I think I got like in all the elements, there was something regarding the eclipse. Um, I'm not being told exactly how. I mean, I guess I mean I am in a way, I suppose, because it keeps saying that something important is happening. A lot of changes are going to happen during the full moon and the eclipse. That's what I'm getting, though. Is it will be significant? The magnetic pull, the magnetic energy to Earth, but also to each of us as we, our our bodies are sensitive to the magnetic pull. Animals also, spirit saying, um, from the largest animal to the smallest animal will all be affected during these changes and during these transformations because as we raise the energy, we are changing not only ourselves as humans but also the um, all living creatures on the earth because we are all connected, we are all energy. What else do they have to work on, spirit? Spirit says, go with the flow. Look to each direction. Um, be in tune. Uh, meditate. Go uh, with each direction. Ask guidance from the gods and the goddesses or the spirits from the east and of the air, the south and of the fire, the west and of the water, the north and of the earth. And this is at number 10. An ending to the old way, the stubborn way, but being blocking things. Allow energy to flow through you um, in meditation so that you can receive the guidance from spirit. Your spirit guides want to reach you, want to speak to you for someone. If you're not able to hear spirit guides speak to you, know that they are speaking to you. They are sending you synchronicities for whoever that's for. A new beginning with strengthening your bonds. Ask your spirit guides to strengthen your bond with them. Ask for a stronger connection to spirit, to spirit guides, so that you can embrace and hear um, your guides with clarity. Things will blossom for you. The, the more you meditate and strengthen the bond to spirit guides, you're, you will blossom. Rest and reconsider. Uh, Rest and reconsider. Nine. Those that are struggling to uh, feel like you're climbing a mountain in this journey, that it's hard, that you're making it harder than it should be. Spirit says you need to go with the flow. 
you're trying to force yourself to go a different direction than you're meant and spirit is pushing you a different direction you need to go with the flow and stop trying to swim upstream spirit saying rest and reconsider because you need rest and meditation to hear what spirit is telling you and guiding you in your journey in your path Okay, so Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope you have a blessed January. Namaste. Or week. I'm sorry, this was your weekly.